Yeah, Eric, anyone that's been outside today has probably seen how the wind has been gusting all day long. Well, that's why PG&E says they're going to have to shut off the power, uh, but they say they've actually decreased the number of customers impacted by this. As winds increase in Northern California, Pacific Gas and Electric, or PG&E, says public safety power shutoffs will be happening over the next three days. According to our current plans, if the conditions call for it, we would begin power shutoffs Wednesday evening. This map on PG&E's website shows the area's customers may lose power in orange, which the company says are mostly high fire threat areas. So generally, these are foothill communities in the northern and central Sierra Nevada mountains, as well as some portions of the Bay Area, particularly higher elevations. But the number of customers impacted, 54,000, is actually a lot smaller than in previous years. PG&E says that's because they've been hard at work. Uh, the footprint of the shutoffs is smaller because we put uh, equipment in the field to better isolate areas. And it says the power should be back on everywhere it's been turned off before Friday night. Again, the company says that shorter time frame is because it's been concentrating its manpower on repairs. We also have more resources such as helicopters and crews to do inspections of power lines after the wind events have passed before we restore power. But PG&E says it cannot guarantee there won't be another wildfire caused by branches hitting power lines or power lines being knocked over. So the company warns over the next three days, those who live in high fire threat areas should be ready to go at a moment's notice. With a red flag warning, we do urge people to be ready. Have a go bag at your, um, you know, by your door. Now happening right now, PG&E is holding a press conference on these uh, power shutoffs. We're monitoring that. If anything uh, happens from that press conference, we'll bring it back to you uh, later in the show. Reporting live in Sacramento County, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News.